So the question is, uh, how do I balance thinking and meta thinking? How do I balance trying to solve my current problem versus trying to improve my problem solving capabilities? Um, I tend to focus on thinking and it's only when my thinking gets stuck or I run into a particular problem that I will resort to meta thinking unless it's a particular meta skill that I already have uh, in which case I'll just execute it. For example, the meta skill of trying to focus on the original problem. Um, in, in one sense, a whole chunk of less wrong is more or less my meta thinking skills. So I, I, I guess on reflection, I would say that um, there's a lot of routine meta thinking that I already know how to do and that I do without really thinking of it as meta thinking. Um, on the other hand, original meta thinking, which is the time consuming part, is something that I tend to resort to only when my current meta thinking skills have broken down. Um, and that's, you know, probably a reasonably exceptional cir circumstance, even though um, it, it's something of a comparative advantage, and so I expect I do a bit more of it than average. Uh, even so, you know, at a, when I'm trying to work on an object level problem at any given point, I'm probably not doing original meta level questioning about how to execute these meta level skills. If I bog down in writing something, I may execute my sort of uh, existing meta level skill of try to step back and look at this from a more abstract level. Um, and if that fails, then I may have to sort of think about what kind of abstract levels can you view this problem on and um, similar uh, problems as opposed to tasks um, and, and in that sense go into original meta-level thinking mode. But one of those meta-level skills, I would say, is the notion that your meta-level problem comes from an object-level problem and you're supposed to keep one eye on the object level problem the whole time you're working on the meta level.